In this video, we will learn the steps to create OU in Active Directory. OU is a type of container that you can create in your domain controller. It can be used to store users, computers, groups, and as well as child OUs. OU can also be used as per your organizational structure or as per your organization's geographical structure. OU can also be used to delegate permission. Let us take an example that a support team in your organization is responsible for creating a new user, resetting user password, creating new groups, adding computers in your domain and etc. In that case, you can delegate permission to support team so that can perform all the mentioned tasks without contacting you or your senior colleague. So let's see how we can create OU in Active Directory. To create a OU, we need to open Active Directory users and computers. So first of all, let's open a SOW Manager. And once you open a SOW Manager, on SOW Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory users and computers. You can also open Active Directory users and computers by using dsa.msc command in run menu. In Active Directory users and computers windows, click on your domain. In this example, the domain is mprtv.local. Now, as you can see, we have a certain containers are there. Like by default, we have a users containers, we have a computers containers, we have a built-in built domain containers. But as you can see, the icon of your our domain controllers is different than other. And that is the only OU which we have by default in our domain. And that is domain controller. Let's right click on your domain name and click on new. It shows various options for creating a new object. We will talk about the other options in a future videos. But right now we want to create a OU and that's why I'm going to select OU. It will open new object organizational unit console. Type the name of your OU which you want to create. And for example, I want to create a OU name OU1 and that's why I just specify the name OU1. And as you can see, the by default, there's a checkbox selected is protect container from accidental deletion. It will use to enhance the security and prevent accidental deletion of this OU. Click on OK to close this console and create a new OU. Here we can see that the uh, OU name OU1 is created and similarly we can create a child OU by selecting OU in which we want to create a child OU and if you want to create another child OU under this OU1 that time you can right click on it and select new and select OU and the same console will open again and then specify the name of your OU and hit on OK. And that's it. Let's see another method to create a new OU using Active Directory Administrative Center. So let's go back to SOW Manager and on SOW Manager click on Tools, select Active Directory Administrative Center. Once you open Active Directory Administrative Centers, click on your domain name. In your case, it is NPR TV. Right click on it and select New and select OU. Now similarly, you have to just specify the name of your OU. Let's specify OU2 and click on OK. This will create a OU name OU2 under our domain mprtv.local. And as you can see, we have a OU1 and OU2. After you have created new OUs, it is easy to move objects such as users, computers and groups to the new OU. You can simply drag the required object in Active Directory Users and Computers or Active Directory Administrative Centers to the appropriate location. You can also right click an object and select Move. Select the desired destination in the Move dialog box and then click on OK. Let's see. For the example, let's create a one user under Users Container Name User 1. Let's press with the password. Click on Next and click on Finish. So we just created one user named User1 under our built-in container users. And now we want to move this OU to OU1. So let's right click on it and select Move and select the destination OU that is OU1 and click on OK. If you click on OU1 and as you can see, we have a user1 under the OU1. And this is the way how you can move your groups, child OUs and users from one OU to another OU. So this is a simple two method to create organizational unit by using graphical user interface in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. That's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.